This is Windows 11 and this is Kali Linux running inside Windows 11. Now using WSL2 and WSLG, we can run Kali Linux with GUI and sound support on Windows 11. You don't need any VirtualBox or VMware. The WSL2 feature is freely available and built inside Windows 11 that lets you install Linux very easily. Hey guys, my name is KS Kiral. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Kali Linux 2022 with a desktop environment on Windows 11 using WSL. Now make sure to watch the video till to the end. If in case you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and tap on the bell icon next to it to see more tech videos. With that being said, let's get started. Now for those who don't know, WSL2 stands for Windows Subsystem for Linux version 2. You can think of it as a Linux environment that has a kernel compiled by Microsoft and optimized for Linux distributions. Now this way, you can run Ubuntu, Kali, OpenSUSE, and more inside of Windows 11 as a part of the application. Or with the help of WSLG, you can even run Linux GUI applications inside Windows 11. Compared to VirtualBox or VMware, WSL2 is much faster and quicker. Alright, let's start installing Kali Linux 2022 on Windows 11. Now, first and foremost, make sure you are running the latest version of Windows 11. And if you are using Windows 10 on your computer, you cannot run GUI. And it's better to update to Windows 11, which is available for free. Also, make sure your computer supports hardware virtualization. It's enabled by default on modern computers. If in case it's disabled, make sure to enable it from BIOS. Now on your Windows 11 computer, go ahead and open settings, then choose Windows Updater. And if you see any updates, go ahead, download, then install them, and then restart the computer. Now once it's done, click on the Start menu and search for Windows PowerShell and choose to run as administrator. You can also use the command prompt if you are familiar with that tool. Now inside the PowerShell, type WSL and you can see the information and usability of this command. Now by default on Windows 11, the WSL command is pre-installed and it's ready to use to set up a Linux. Now type WSL space dash dash install and press the enter key to start installing Linux inside Windows 11. Now this command is going to download and install a WSL2 kernel that adds a GUI support and the Ubuntu image will be downloaded automatically. Now all these steps will be done with a single command. Once it's done, you need to restart the computer. Now after rebooting, you would see a command prompt that is busy in wrapping up the Linux installation. All right, now you can see that Ubuntu Linux has been installed successfully. You can go ahead and set up a username and password for Ubuntu. Now if you notice, Ubuntu is available as an application on Windows 11 and can be accessed from the start menu. It's time to install Kali Linux 2022. Just go ahead, open the PowerShell and run it as administrator. Now inside here, type WSL-L-V to list out the installed Linux distributions. Now type WSL space dash dash list space dash dash online to see the available Linux distributions. Here you can see Kali Linux which is ready to install. To do so, type wsl-install-d for the distribution 
and type the name of the distro. If you use this command to install Kali, it will download the older version of Kali Linux. I'm not going to run this command. Now instead, I will head over to this website of Kali, then scroll to the WSL section, then select Microsoft Store. Now from the App Store, you can download the latest version of Kali Linux. Now once it's downloaded, go ahead and open it. Now set up the username and password. And that's it, now we have successfully installed Kali Linux 2022 on Windows 11. Also, if in case you want to install the full edition of Kali, which includes so many useful tools, simply type this command that is going to perform a full installation. Now, please make sure you have at least 20 GB of free space left inside your drive before running this command. It's time to show you guys installing a graphical user interface for Kali Linux that can be accessed via VNC server. Go ahead, update the repositories of Kali by typing this command. Then type sudo apt install kali-win-kex. This will download the XFCE desktop environment for Kali Linux. I will take some time to finish the installation, so please be patient. Now once it's done, now type kex space dash dash win space dash s and press the enter key to connect to the VNC server. Now if you see any prompt, go ahead, allow it and then add a password. For a view only password, I'm going to type N and while now you can use the graphical user interface of Kali. It runs much better than VirtualBox or VMware. Let me go ahead and open a browser and play a video from YouTube. Now this is how you set up Kali Linux with a GUI on Windows 11. What do you guys think about it? Comment down below. Now to exit from VNC, press F8 to bring up the context menu and choose to disconnect from the server. Now keep in mind you cannot expect everything to be working fine. You may notice some minor stability and network issues. Now lastly, I want to show you guys how to run Linux GUI applications on Windows 11. Now inside the Kali terminal, I'm going to type this command to install GIMP, a famous image editor, and see how it works. Now if you notice, this application is available as a part of Windows 11 and can be accessed from the start menu. Now this is a Linux application running inside Windows 11. The same way you can run some of the Linux GUI applications on Windows 11.
And that's pretty much it. Now, if in case you like this video, hit the thumbs up down there. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel and consider hitting the bell icon to get notified whenever I post a new video. Also, if in case you have any suggestions, post them in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching my video. This has been KSK Ryle. I will catch you in my next one.